if you're a bit confused about your research question, if you're just at the start of your PhD or master's thesis and you're just developing the idea for the research question that you want to answer, then this video is definitely for you because I'm going to show you what a good research question looks like. So let's get started. If you're new to this channel, my name is Marek Kiczkowiak and I run Academic English Now, where I help university students and researchers write better theses and papers. If you want to learn how to write excellent academic text, then definitely hit that subscribe button so we can continue learning here together on this channel. So let's imagine you already have a general idea of more or less what you want to study, but you're still not sure how to formulate a good research question. So let's imagine you want to find out whether online courses can help university students improve their academic writing. That's your idea, right? Now, would that be a good research question or an aim for a research? It wouldn't be. Why? Because it doesn't tick any of the boxes that a good research question should tick. First of all, a research question should be focused. What do I mean by that? Well, if you ask a research questions like, um, can online courses improve academic writing? This is too general, it's too broad. You need to focus it. So for example, you could pick a specific online academic writing course to test it, right? Or a specific group of people, or preferably both. So we would change it to something like, can academic writing mastery program help second year master students write a better thesis? Now that's a much better research question, but it's still quite far away from what we're aiming for. Why? Because it's not really researchable. What does that mean? Well, it's got to be something that is possible to research. In other words, you need to be able to get data on it. So you would need to ask yourself now, how are you going to measure students' improvement, right? You could, for example, use some kind of a standardized test or you could count the number of mistakes before taking the academic writing mastery program and after it. That would be another way of measuring um, the data. So in other words, your question can, should be researchable and the data should be measurable. So for example, we could rephrase this question to, can the academic writing mastery program help second year master students reduce the number of mistakes that they make in the paper? That would be a better question, but it's still not perfect yet. It needs to be more specific as well. In other words, in our case of mistakes that students make, you probably want to focus on a specific type of mistake that the students make. Are you thinking grammar? And what type of grammar? For example, maybe mistakes with the past and present tense. Or are you thinking more mistakes with references, for example? There are all sorts of different mistakes, right? So maybe we could rephrase this question to, can academic writing mastery program help you know, second year masters students reduce the number of punctuation mistakes that they make in the text? What you also need to make sure is that your question is relevant and fills in the research gap that you've identified. If you're like, what on earth is a research gap? Don't worry, I've got another video about research gap and I linked it right below here but you need to make sure that the research question that you're asking is somehow important to the discipline or to the world in general, and it helps us further and expand our knowledge in the field. So let's go through the checklist one by one, shall we? So first of all, it needs to be focused. Your research question needs to be focus, it needs to be researchable. In other words, the data that you're getting needs to be measurable somehow. It needs to be specific enough for you to be able to answer it within the space of your MA or PhD program. 
and it should also be relevant to the research community or to the wider population. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to learn how to write excellent academic text, then follow my Academic Writing Mastery Program where over six online modules I walk you step by step through all the elements that you need to include in an academic paper or thesis and the link to it is right below this video. 